Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Prep and Primer. This is what we're doing today. I'm gonna to pan you around now and show you what we are gonna be doing. What we're doing today a bit of a random one we're going from lambretta parks to a pair of jump bike forks now if you've not seen the p1 jump bike build that i've been doing it is on the channel guys it advised just to nip over to that after this video i'll leave the little links at the end of this video so you can click on and you can get caught up on the p1 build because that is a process from bare metal stripped down all the way up to a finished denim frame one first on youtube guys is a denim frame i've not seen any others so you can have a look at that we've got to do these forks tomorrow in denim so these are going to go blue denim on the legs and on the top part of the crown piece there with rock shop logos as though they are stitched in and embroidered but that'll be all airbrushing tomorrow so that's what we're doing in today's video the spray gun that I'm going to use today is going to be the Devilbris HD Advance for primer work. Now, these are a brilliant gun in a 2mm for primer, so that's the one we're going to be using today. Products will be me for 2K High Build. I've just picked up a new paint supplier, so I'm going to give you a little talk through now. I'll leave links in the description to Instagram for this guy. They're just set up in the Essex area. They were based in London and went by the name of E1 Car Colours Limited, but they've now moved to Braintree and go by Essex Colours. Got the number there, I'll leave the number and the bits in the description, but you need to speak to Nick Rolls. I popped in there yesterday, really helpful, friendly guy. You can literally go in there and they make you welcome, guys, they really do. If you are struggling and stuck for a product, um, They've got the knowledge there and that's what it's about. You can go in there and you can ask these questions and they don't mind giving you really helpful, friendly advice. And that's what it's about when you go into a paint shop. Sometimes you can walk in there and it can be a bit daunting when you ask for what you want. But they're just really friendly. I had a really good laugh in there. He took me around the shop, picked up some bits. I can get delivery as well, which is really, really good. They stock spray guns. It's like Aladdin's cave when you go in there, guys. They've got everything. So check out Essex Colours. You can get them on Google, but I'll leave the links in that in the description, phone numbers and things like that, so you can speak to Nick and get your paint supplies. So we're gonna move on now, get suited up, and start prepping these bits. I'll stick you in time lapses, enjoy the music, and I'll speak to you halfway through. See you in a bit. Prepped, a little bit of filler where needed on them. They're all prepped up and ready to go for primer. Once we go, we've got a filler knock back. We can now move on to the forks. I'm going to strip all these logos off, prep all these legs up, and then we're going to mask out all the intricate bits ready for the primer. So I'll see you in the next time lapse. stages on these pieces a little bit of filler work in the side panels I've feathered that out I'll show you now and just fill a bit of feathering out on that piece there and we've got a little piece just here feathered out done I've masked the insides you see in that time-lapse 
I don't want to go getting loads of primer blowing underneath so I've bagged the bottoms off because this is sort of going the same colour and the insides of these are clean anyway so I just wanted to bag off and I've just got it so it, we can get to this edge when we spray it and all the underneath will stay nice and clean the forks are all masked off, all prepped all masked nice, all the intricate pieces masked up I've mixed, just about to mix the primer 4 to 1 I'm going to thin it slightly I don't want to go too heavy a build on this because these are quite straight we don't we haven't got a lot of like imperfections to cover up so i'm just going to go something like 10 percent thinners on top of this mix job done so give these a few coats i'll stick you on a time lapse see you in a bit Time for a coffee and a sit down now. I can leave all this primer to go off and give it a whole night with heat in the studio. It's nice and warm in here now, I'll just turn the heater on and we can dry this high build down. So when we come in tomorrow for tomorrow's video, it's just gonna be a nice, easy bit of guide coat because that's gone down really, really flat on that guy. So very minimum to do the prep work now on them stages on these pieces. We're gonna get these coloured up tomorrow and then I can take you through the stages on the denim forks. We're gonna do a denim texture. We've got some logos to go on the side which will make them look stitched in. And then we'll be clear coating these in a matte clear coat to finish. So that's in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to check out Essex Colours. You're gonna see some more stuff come up on the channel with Essex Colours. We're gonna get some more different products because they do a good range of some really really cool paints that i want to give a try so there'll be more stuff coming up with essex colors but if you want to check them out links in the description so i hope you can join me tomorrow don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos on dread custom paint and i'll see you tomorrow guys cheers